In this video, we are going to analyze the most relevant events that take place during the digestive process. The first one is the ingestion. The ingestion is the movement of the food from the stereo to the interior of our body. The mouth is the first part of the digestive system. In the mouth, we can find three accessory structures. The first one are the teeth. The teeth carry out the mechanical digestion of the food. The second one are the salivary glands. The salivary glands produce saliva. This liquid carries out the chemical digestion of the food. The chewed food mixed with saliva with saliva is called bolus. The third accessory structure of the mouth is the tongue. The tongue transports the bolus from the mouth to the pharynx. So the bolus is transported from the mouth to the pharynx and from the pharynx to the esophagus. The food moves due to the peristaltic movements of the tube. After descending through the esophagus, the food reaches the stomach. In the stomach, there are two extremely important events. The first one is the mechanical digestion that is carried out by the peristaltic movements of the wall. The second one is the chemical digestion. The stomach releases gastric juices that digest the food. The bolus mixed with the digested juices is transformed into the chyme. The chyme is transported from the stomach to the small intestine. In the small intestine there are two extremely important processes. The first one is the chemical digestion of the food. The chemical digestion of the food is carried out by two different liquids. The first one is the gall. The gall is produced by the liver, but it's stored and released by the gallbladder. This liquid is responsible for emulsifying the fats. The second liquid is the pancreatic juice that is produced and released by the pancreas. This liquid is responsible for digesting sugars, fats and proteins. The second process that is carried out by the small intestine is the absorption of the food. In fact, the small intestine is the only place in the digestive system that can absorb the nutrients. It's the only place where the nutrients are transported from the digestive tube to the blood. When the chyme is digested by the pancreatic juice and the gall is transformed into the chyme, that is the food ready for the absorption. The next step is carried out by the last part of the digestive system. That is called the colon or large intestine. In the large intestine there are two relevant processes. The first one is absorption of water. The second one is a defecation. The defecation is the elimination of non-digested, so the food that has not been absorbed or digested is released to the stereo by the anus. 